For a long time, where students have been having uh, a perception that mathematics is difficult. And therefore, as Brookside, as part of our CSR, we came up with the Brookside Mathlet as a way of demystifying that fear that they have towards sciences and mathematics in particular. And this has been very, the Mathlet has really helped in demystifying that perception because uh, uh, students are able to travel to the different counties and participate in this exam. And we have seen that uh, they have been able to change their attitude towards mathematics, which is beneficial. And most schools that uh, participate or host this contest, we have seen an improvement in the number of students who are performing well in mathematics, which has an impact not only in the school mean, but it also has an impact in the, in, in the other subjects of uh, sciences and STEM in particular. So this contest uh, not only helps the individual to do well, but also helps the overall performance of the school because once the maths performance of the school goes high it also affects the overall mean of the school in the national KCAC examination and uh, the good thing is that those who participated like from last year uh, out of the top 100 who participated uh, top of top 100 uh, in the final KCAC examination 25 were students who had participated and won in the various mathlete contests so I'm very sure that uh, through this, participating in this contest, the overall performance of the students in maths and sciences. In today's contest, we have various awards. The best form three wins a Brookside School Fees Scholarship, uh, boy and girl. The best uh, form four, boy and girl, wins a Strathmore University Professional Diploma uh, Scholarship. And the top five boys and the top five girls in the Form 4 examination will qualify to compete at the grand finale for the main prize of a university scholarship for the best boy and the best girl. So what is at stake is the, cash, the main grand prize of the university scholarship that will be held on 7th of uh, September at Strathmore University. And any of the students who are participating here today has an equal chance of winning. Mm, many students fear maths because of uh, attitude. Basically, I think it's a question of attitude because when the attitude is negative, then you find the performance will not be good. But when students have a positive attitude towards mathematics, I'm sure the performance will change. I'm a math teacher. For the last 27 years, I've been teaching mathematics in high schools in Kenya. And being a math teacher, I can tell you, Brookside has come up with the best thing ever to change the attitude of students towards mathematics. And in my view, I think that um, this is one way of um, uh, demystifying the poor performance in mathematics, that maths is like any other subject. Students can pass uh, well in maths like any other subject. And that is why I think this is a beginning of uh, making a major impact in the performance of mathematics in this county. Starting with what we have done today, I'm sure many schools will register improvement. When you see the many students who have come from different schools and their teachers, they are seeing it is possible to change the negative trend of performance in maths and make it better through having a positive attitude and also students interacting with others. And I'm sure by the end of today, we'll achieve a major objective of bringing people together. And that's why we want to appreciate Brookside um, Company for stepping in and, and filling that void. We have been attending other contests um, organized by Brookside, but it is the first time in Ikilifi County when we are hosting uh, this contest. Yes, I would say that maths plays a very key role. To me, it's a common denominator in most of the STEM-related courses. I'm talking about uh, the science subjects, where mathematics comes in, both physics, chemistry, biology, they have a component of maths, whether you like it or not. So when we popularize mathematics and students perform well, it becomes very easy to perform well in chemistry, in physics and in biology. And therefore, um, performance will not be a problem. Uh, take for example, um, from last year, we, we, we began working on performance on math and science. 
and there's a big improvement. So we feel Brookside has come the right time so that all other schools can also benchmark with the Ripe boys uh, on what we are doing on in, in terms of changing the attitude in performance in mathematics. And I believe this is the right time. My name is Elizabeth Mwakera from Marigaz at Theta Taveta. I came here at Ribe Boys for maths contest, and uh, I also thank I, I also thank Brookside for bringing this maths contest. For it has helped many pupils. Most of the pupils they have positive attitude towards maths because. Uh, from primary, they used to see maths. It's hard for so it's it's still difficult to them in, uh, until secondary. Then uh, most of the students they don't practice maths as they see it's hard, and uh, that's it. What are you people doing? Um, Mary, guys, we have maths club. Uh, this maths club has helped many students because on Wednesday, uh, every on Wednesday, we have the club which we stay in groups, do maths. The difficult questions we send to the seniors, and the seniors who have the difficult questions we send to the teachers. Then uh, yeah, we also practice maths. If um, before, we, we, are, we are advised to practice maths every day, at least five to 10 questions every day. Today contest which has been brought us to us by the Brookside, it will enable us to improve in our academics uh, through interaction with these other students in different schools. So I just thank the Brookside contest and uh, I hope we will improve in this.